AEW Dynamite. Blood and guts. Not going to waste any time. I'm going to get straight to it. We kicked the show off with, I was going to say Jungle Boy, but at this point, with his appearance, his attire, hell, even his new theme song, I don't even think we could call him Jungle Boy, so I'll just say Jack Perry. Jack Perry defeated Hook to become the FTW world champion, thus ending Hook's long, undefeated streak in AEW. Um, honestly, I thought the match was pretty solid. You know, I liked how they did stuff. I liked how uh, Jungle Boy wasn't his, you know, his typical high-flying style. He was, you know, he was more, again, he was heelish. He was running away, being the coward that he is. But he was able to cheat his way to win. He was able to win. And, um, yeah, he's the new FTW world champion, you know. Even though the, the title is not r fully recognized by AEW, he's technically still a champion, you know what I'm saying? So, um, and I thought Hook, despite losing, I thought he looked good too. So, yeah, solid opener. Uh, Britt Baker, she took on some, I forgot the woman's name, but um, she took on her. I felt like the, the Britt Baker match was a waste of time. I felt like they were just doing that just to give more time on the show. Plus, that way the Twitter fingers won't go on the internet saying, oh, you don't have a women's match? Well, duds. The main argument was blood and guts tonight. Like, Anyways. Adam Cole and MJF versus Sammy Guevara and Daniel Garcia. This was freaking funny. This match felt like something that you would see in a PWG match. Um, they did a dance competition. And I'm just sitting here just like, what the heck are they doing? Um, I'm just shaking my head. I'm, I'm smiling, but shaking my head just like, oh, my Lord. Like, good Lord. Like, you only expect this in the other company, not in this company. But um, I thought it was pretty funny. Um, but they did it. They did the double clothesline. MJF and Cole won the match. And I thought the match was actually good. Um, Adam Cole gave the world title to Max, but he was looking at the title. So Max was kind of like, dude, like, what are you doing? Like, what's going on? So we're like, uh-oh, friction already. But uh, they're going to face FTR two weeks from now on Collision. That's going to be a good one. Can't wait to see that. Um, so, yeah, all around good stuff with that. And, of course, the main event, the Golden League versus the Blackpool Combat Club. Man, this was this was what it was worth. This was blood and guts. I thought this was definitely a way to end the rivalry between the Elite and, and the BCC. Um, yeah, this was, this, was, this was some crazy stuff. You know, we saw some blood. We saw some action. I mean, we saw what your typical blood and guts match was. So, yeah. I, all around, I thought this was good stuff, and I thought the ending capped off. Overall, eh, outside of the Britt Baker match, I mean, it was actually a pretty good episode of Dynamite, I thought. So, a little short review, not a lot of matches. Obviously, there's like three, so there you have it. But um, I hope y'all enjoyed this review, so peace.